Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I wanted to show you in this video how to exclude from your robots.txt uh, specific web pages or resources or areas or PDFs or stuff like that. Um, and so the question uh, occurred today uh, which is um, how, it, it, you know, some people may have certain web pages um, that they don't want to show in the search results. Um, maybe like a wholesale price list or a specific uh, folder with with some very specific information. You don't want the search engine when people finding them uh, from the search engine. So I'm just going to go over a few quick examples in robot.txt and uh, do a simple video. Uh, so number one, you always want to have a robot.txt uh, file uh, under your uh, your domain. It has to be in the root domain. So for example, facebook.com slash robots.txt, right? You always want to have it in the root domain. And th this will include all the information here. So um, basically what you want to do is just, uh, a, a, first of all, call the user agent, the actual robot name. So um, this star basically means that you're, you're talking about all of the uh, robots, so a Googlebot and Yahoo and a, a, all these search engines and, and kind of crawlers, you want to define them, right? And uh, just one more thing, this robot.txt is a guideline for the robots. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, specific robots are necessarily going to listen to you, but the main, the main uh, search engine ones, Google, Yahoo, Bing, stuff like that, uh, shouldn't be any problem. So uh, here, what we did is we defined the user agent. If you want Googlebot, then it would just be, you know, Googlebot, all right? Um, and then I'll give you a few examples of things. So number one, th th these are comments, right? So if you want to block the entire site, um, what you do is define all. You define the, the user agents, the robots, and you just uh, specify a disallow slash, and that would basically mean anything after the slash, which is the entire site in this case will be disallowed, so, so the robots will not visit, okay? Uh, the next example is um, we wanted to just uh, specify only for Googlebot, for example, to uh, not a, a, to block or not visit a, anything that is, any image that is a .gif on the main directory, right? So here you use basically star .gif, and then at the end you have to specify the, the dollar sign, okay? Pretty straightforward. The ne next example is to block anything within a specific directory. So something like uh, HTTP example.com slash uh, junk directory, right? So uh, if you want to block, and of course you have to have you know the specific uh, user agent, but if you want to block this exact directory, you'll just do slash, which is the main directory, the directory name, and end with the slash. And that'll block anything that's there. So if if this file, you know, is is there, then it'll block that, right? And the last one is to is to block very specific web pages or files or something like that, um, which is uh, to block a single one. So this allows slash folder slash web page, uh, and that's it basically. So here's a few examples. Um, let me know if you, in the comment section if you have any other questions about any other specific. Uh, blocking or exclusions, and uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.